Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a windy day at Lake Tiarati. I want to say that this was the same exact conditions that I fished when I was last here. And uh, hopefully, well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to hope for. I just know that I'm going to go back to the wind protected cove that they have here. We're going to fish along a tree line so that we can be protected from the wind until the sun comes out. Now when the sun comes out, it's going to be hot. We're going to want that wind so that we have a nice decent breeze cooling us down. We are going to continue where we left off from yesterday, fishing for some big fish. I'm going to start out with a top water bite if it's calm enough. If it's not calm, then I'll probably start off by throwing a spinner bait. As the sun comes up, we'll transition on over into fishing soft plastics. So welcome back, kick back, enjoy this video. I hope to catch some big fish to entertain you and let's get at it. So you gotta make sure this is always down um, so that the line doesn't get caught up on that. But you see this right here? Yes. That's gonna cause your line to get a wind knot every time. So cast it all the way out there. And you gotta make sure that the line is going straight to that, mm -hmm. like that, okay? If it looks like this, see how that looks? Yeah. And then it goes to that. You have to make sure that it, it's all the way down. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then when you start reeling in, just make sure that I don't even see the line is good. It's way over there. No. <laughs> Two friend froggies swimming with each other, minding their own business. Move along, bass. Nothing to see here. It'd be funny if one just came and bit it. Okay, let's get out of here because you can see the bottom right there. Yeah. It's very shallow. I'll keep this on just in case we find another protected bank. Should I do it like that? Yeah. Just put it down to right here. Mm. All right, guys, I am done with the frog. It's time to put it away. Let me retie another lure to it and just start fishing something else because the sun is already out. I got, I think it was one fish, I don't know, but. There was a fish that came up to the top to try to bite this two times and I didn't manage to set the hook. It wasn't a very aggressive bite, so it leads me to believe that it was something kind of small. I'm gonna put it away and keep going. Hopefully we're gonna catch something big. These public lakes have been very hard for me and I know you ain't much of a fisherman unless you're catching fish at a public lake because the playing field is even the way it should be with everybody else trying to catch those same fish. I don't know this lake very well. It's the second time that I'm fishing it, but I came with just about everything that I own as far as tackle was concerned, so there should be no excuse on why I don't catch anything. I never use jigs. I'm about to use a jig right now. It's a swim jig, so I'm going to throw a fluke on the end of it just to see what we can get and see if they want a different presentation aside of that road runner that I constantly use. Hopefully we can pull a small mouth up with this right here. Jig and crawl. There we are. That's what we're going to be using right there. Boy, that thing looks just like a crawfish whenever it's swimming down. I think I felt a bite. <laughs> Oh, he's coming after it. Oh, oh, oh you see him? Oh my god, are you freaking... Maybe if I just drop it? No, just cast the way you did it. If I would have been going a tiny bit slower, that No, way. if you go slower, they don't no, want to... No, I mean right when he was there. Oh, okay, yeah. If you go too slow, they won't chase it. It's when they see it moving, they think something is trying to hurry up and swim away. So they're trying to hurry up and eat it. They're like, nope, you're not going to get away from me. 
Look how tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what kind of fish is it? It's a, it's a bluegill. It's gonna die. He said, please let me go. <laughs> He's like, I didn't mean to bite it, I promise. I didn't mean to bite it. I won't ever bite it again, I promise. <laughs> Just let me go. <laughs> He's like, uh, not again. <laughs> No skunk for us. Lauren downsized. Good morning. Good morning. Like Not really. Oh, just a bunch of small bluegills. Yeah. Yeah, we got tired of fishing for the big stuff because they didn't want to play. Beautiful morning. Huh? It is. Yes, Mr. Pumpkin Seed. This guy swallowed it. Great, Mr. Pumpkin Seed. I have to pull the pliers out. Now I have to get this thing off of you. There we go. Seven feet. But look at this guy. Ooh. <laughs> He's a PB and J sandwich. Kind of big. I'm getting hungry. Yeah, we'll go buy us something to eat on our way I'm in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die if I don't eat. SpongeBob, I'm a big, big guy. All right, that is it, princess. We're done, fellas. We are done. Another successful fishing trip with tiny little bluegill. Spectacular fishing. Lake Tiarati, Harriman State Park, New York. Nothing but the big boys out fishing today. We couldn't even stay away from the big fish. Things kept attacking our line. We caught probably about 50 fish today. Next time, we'll try to hook some crappie. Thanks for watching. Tight line. Hey, I'm one of your subscribers. How oh, you doing? Sweet. What's your name? Hi, Dennis. Yeah. Dennis, this nice to meet you. This is my wife, Lisa. Hi, how are you? Hi, Lisa. This is my I'm son, Mark. Pedro. Pedro. Enjoy your nice videos you. very much. Oh, appreciate it. I would have made one today, but fish didn't cooperate. Oh, they didn't cooperate? Yeah. There's a bunch of little ones. Uh, I was surprised to see you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> All right, buddy. Yeah, you take care. Thanks right. for uh, the support. No problem.